Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use your iPad with a cable and QuickTime Player in order to use your iPad as a document camera. Right now I'll show you. This is the iPad stand that I made. You can see it's just a piece of plywood down at the bottom. I have uh, two 1x5s, which are vertical supports, and a piece of wood on top. I made it 16 inches tall, which is good when you're doing a video mode because when you switch to video, it zooms in. You can also just use a stack of books and uh, put another book on top of your iPad to keep it from falling over if you have to, but just uh, anything to raise it up off far enough that you can see underneath of it. Now let's take a look. Let me swap this over. What I'm going to do over here on this computer, I'm going to launch the QuickTime Player which you can find in your applications folder like this by clicking on finder and doing that or I just launch spotlight by hitting command and space on mine. So in QuickTime Player I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to say new movie recording. I'll pull this down the center so you can see it well. Right now if you look here I've got Cam Twist, which is software I run, my FaceTime camera, and Family Room which is an actual Apple TV. What I will do now is I'm going to take this cable which is already plugged into the Mac and I'm going to plug it into this iPad. It makes a ding. It forcibly is trying to get me to update the software which I don't want to do right now so I'm going to say not now. It's going to, it will probably ask me again. Now if you see on this menu, we've got an added lounge pad option. I'm going to click on that, and you will see, again, it's trying to get me to change this. This is showing my screen. And if I change the orientation from here to this, you'll see the screen changes also. So when I'm ready, if I wanted to make a video for students, then there's a little green, a little red button here. I also make sure it's set to use my microphone here, or you can actually use a microphone on the iPad. If you find that you're going to be closer to the iPad than your laptop, like in this situation right here, then you would switch the microphone to be on the iPad. Now, when I'm ready, I hit the record button right here, the red drop, and now I'm recording. I can use, on here I've got two softwares that I use, two apps. I have Stage by Belkin, and as you see this, I've got the ability to draw on here and pick different colors. So I could actually annotate something and say, I've got this here. You can take screenshots, later you can save and pull them up again. The other app, besides the Belkin Stage that I'm using, that's my favorite so far. There's iDoc Cam, which is a new one for me. Um, this is from the company IPVO that makes document cameras and until April 30th they've opened this up so it's free for everyone. I don't know the features very well here yet. Hopefully you can figure it out more than me. There's a button in the bottom right where you can expand or contract it and it has some different features on the left autofocus, exposure, and whatnot. So that's all you need to do. Then when I'm done recording this, I hit the stop button here, and it's going to ask me where do I want to save this file in a moment. Right now it's just called Untitled. So when I go to File, I want to save it. Or if I just close it, it's going to ask me automatically, and it's going to say, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to save it? And I will say, actually, yes, I'm going to export this. I'm going to save this as my first iPad video. I'll save it to my Documents folder. That's it. How you, that's how you can use QuickTime Player on your MacBook Air and your iPad to record videos.